Here's Sanibel Island's delicate ecosystems have been battered by unrelenting storm surges, leaving behind dead trees and tainted freshwater pools. Neighbors worry the visible wounds are only the beginning. Wink News reporter Paul Dolan speaks to experts who worry our habitats may be on the brink of a slow collapse. Storm surge has thrashed the island of Sanibel over the last two years, leaving discolored freshwater habitats and dead trees all over the island. And that's concerning people, and they're wondering if this is just the start. So I came down to the Ding Darling Wildlife Refuge to get some answers. Lately, the island of Sanibel has learned that recovery is a gradual process. Depends on the severity of the event. That's Bob Gerwig. He's a manager at the Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge Complex, and he has a long history on Sanibel. I've got over 50 years of history here on Sanibel, and so I've, I'm seeing these changes too. I'm talking about things like impaired water quality. That's been an issue here in Southwest Florida for couple decades now. He told me about how the ecosystems on the island are in uncharted territory because of the repetitive impact of severe storms. The big concern for him is the continual stressors. And that doesn't allow ecosystems to recover as quickly and maybe as fully as they possibly could. So um, that, that is something that does concern me as a biologist and as, as a resource manager. The rampant development and the, here in Southwest Florida that we're not we're not allowing these ecosystems maybe perhaps enough room to respond in, in the best way that they possibly could. Luckily, nature is resilient, but you don't want to push your luck too far. That said, Gerwig believes the island will recover. You just have to be patient. Barrier Island systems, were, these systems are extremely dynamic. They're always in flux. So what you might have seen for 10 years might not be there in 10 years. And that's just kind of how these systems work. It's been a long road to recovery at the Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge from all the hurricanes. But a few areas will reopen on Monday, including the Visitor Center and the Bailey Track. Reporting on Sanibel, Paul Dolan, Wink News.